6 parking in a handicapped spot, but the placard had fallen off. His car towed. Why some lawmakers call it predatory, and they want these practices to change. That is where we start at six towing companies now under state scrutiny. Lawmakers debating a bill right now that would prevent companies from towing your car without notice. That's an issue CBS4 has reported on a lot. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us live at the Capitol. And Sean, this is an emotional one. Hey, Karen, on both sides, dozens of people are here to testify on this one. Opponents say the bill would cause the towing industry to collapse. Supporters say it would protect against predatory towing practices. It was 4 a.m. Thanksgiving morning. Benjamin Dermer was asleep in bed when his towing nightmare began. I woke up, my car was gone. Uh, no one answered the phone at the apartment complex or at the tow company because it was Thanksgiving. Dermer had parked in a handicapped spot with a temporary placard he received after knee surgery. He found out it had fallen down when he saw a picture by the tow truck driver showing it on the floor. My crutches were in the trunk of my car and all of my food for Thanksgiving that I had prepared was in the trunk of my car. His Thanksgiving was ruined, but attorney Zach Newman says tow companies have also ruined lives. People lose jobs because of this. They miss rental payments. They take out payday loans. They borrow from family. They use credit cards. Newman among those supporting a bill that would, among other things, require companies to give car owners 24 hours notice before towing their vehicle. Right now, a company can hold your car two days before notifying you, even as charges accrue, and sell your car in 30 days if you can't pay in full. And Representative Edie Hooten says they can tow for almost any reason. There is nothing written that creates any criteria for what justifies a tow or what doesn't. So it's absolutely at the discretion of the towing company. Her bill would require companies to document the violation, bar them from selling vehicles, and give them back even if owners can't pay in full. Frankly, it's just not, not practical. Trevor Forbes, CEO of Wyatt's Towing, says many of the vehicles they sell are abandoned. Just saying you can never sell an abandoned vehicle ever is not reasonable. Neither, he says, is releasing a car without getting paid first. The person didn't want to get towed, right? They got towed because they were not parked where they were supposed to. And so the thought that, that people would pay later, I don't think is a rational thing. Benjamin Dermer says he had to pay $375 to get his car back the next day, and it was damaged. But he admits it could have been worse. I was lucky enough to be able to afford to get it out of tow the next day. You know, uh, many people are not. And Dermer says he was surprised that a company could tow his vehicle for something like a violation of handicap parking. Under the bill, they could no longer tow for uh, law enforcement matters, like expired tags, for example. The bill also puts the attorney general's office in charge of investigating complaints by car owners. The CEO of Wyatt's Towing told me he is open to changes, like limiting fees and the 24-hour notice before towing. But he says the bill goes too far. Again, it is being debated at this hour, and we will post the results of the committee hearing vote on CBSDenver.com. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. A lot of sun